awareness? Because I'm going to ask you some questions. Got it? Start with an easy one. I'm going to give you 16.21 degrees. I want the complement of that angle. Do you know what that means? What it means is you better have a calculator, I think. Do we have an answer? Just the first one of the sixteen point two one. You have it? I think it is this. Am I right? Yeah. Since you all were telling me, I had to do it myself. Calculator. All right. Once again, I want the complement of this. Oh, that one got a little more complicated, didn't it? an answer? Eighty degrees what? Seven minutes and seconds. You all agree? Did you forget to change it to minutes and seconds? These are detailed things that I'm trying to help you remember. Okay, what is the supplement of this angle? Subtract from 90. You just like plug in that whole thing. Uh huh. Um, Were you trying to make it hard? Yeah. <laughs> Complement you subtract from 90, supplement you subtract from 180. So I think the supplement is 170 degrees, 17 minutes, and 13 seconds. Yeah. Right? How did I do that so fast in my head? I just added it. Which was much easier yeah. than first. <laughs> that got on to lose track of my head. Are we good with supplement complement? Yes. All right. Now, let's talk about a clock. There is a clock in this room. I've taught this before when we did not when we had a digital clock instead of a round clock. So, on my clock, a second hand goes from 12.10 to 12.30, okay? When I look at a clock, not giving you me. Hmm. Okay. Isn't this 
about 1210 and this about 1230? Yep. So the second hand is going here. Okay? Does that make sense to you? How many degrees does it move during that time? How did you get it? Okay. I did that in my head to try to arrange Okay, but if I go from 1210 to 1230, is that 20 minutes or 20 units? Yes. 20 seconds, right? And how far is it all the way around? 60 seconds, isn't it? Yeah. So is 20 one third of 60? So you can take one third of three six. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. When I say it that way? Mm -hmm. She divided it into ten minute segments is what she did. Which is not wrong. How many radians? Oh, we said 120 degrees. How many radians did it go? When 120 degrees. One pi over How many radians is it all the way around? Two pi. Did it go a third of it? Oh, it did, is this, did we decide this was a third of yes. all the way around? Yes. So what is a third of two pi? Or I could have converted 120 degrees the radians, right? You okay with that? Everybody okay? You can do this. All right. If the second hand is 10 inches in length. Oh, my second hand is 10 inches in length. How far did that tip travel? I want to find this distance, which is truly just our belief, isn't it? Do you know how to find our belief? Theta times radius. R theta? Yeah. R theta? R theta? So, but what does theta have to be in? Radius. Radius. So we said S equals R theta. So S equals 10 times 2 pi over 3. So what is S? Isn't it? Yeah. By the way, that is inches. Are we good with that? It said find the exact distance. Exact means pi is in your answer, right? Okay. All right. Determine the angular speed of the second hand. How do I find angular speed? 
You remember what Omega was equal to? Uh, theta over time. Okay. What is theta? So what is it? 2 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3. What is my time? Seconds. Wasn't it a second hand? Oh, I thought it was a second hand. I was asking why the second hand. 20 seconds? Right? How am I going to reduce that? Divided by 20, is that the same as multiplied by 1 over 20? I believe that is pi over 30 radians per second. Right? What would be the linear speed? What would be the linear speed? Is it linear speed? What? which would be pi over 30 times kip, which is what? Pi over 3. Pi over 3 what? Inches per second. Inches per second. Right? How was that? Did it? Did you remember some of this? Is it starting to kind of? Oh yeah, I know that. Okay, I know that. Where it's not all new. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about is area of a sector. All right. So I'm going to give you a circle. Maybe. Here's my circle, and I'm going to tell you that's the center, by the way. This is 80 degrees, and that is. centimeters. I want to find the area of this sector. What's the formula for area of the sector? R squared theta What am I missing for that formula? Radius. The radius. Can I find the radius? Yeah. Because arc length is the same as radius. Arc length is not the same as the radius. Is it arc length equal to r theta? You should divide the arc length by the 
theta. So R would equal S over theta, except theta is in the wrong form, isn't it? How do I get it in the right form? So I'm going to say theta is 4 pi over 9. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, everybody in agreement with that. How I got that? Are you, Lily? Yeah. So... I know R and I know theta. So this is my area of my sector, one half Well, we didn't find R, did we? R is what? Which is eight times 9 over 4 pi, which is, I think it's 18 over pi, isn't it? Am I correct? So it's one half r squared times four pi over nine. So this is my formula. What's wrong, Chandler? On the radius, how did you find that eighteen? Well, I canceled this two and this one. So now I'm here. And it says approximate to one decimal place. <laughs> you know you don't have to you know you can back up and fix it, don't you? Yeah, but well, when I tried to clear it out it did everything. Oh, don't hit clear, hit delete. Clear clears everything. Yeah. Delete. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I think okay. I already know this. Yeah. And what did you say, Kate? I believe it's 22.9. Anybody else get that? Oh, okay. Well, they're not there yet, I guess. Sarah, did you get an answer? I got one too. Oh, good. Okay. So the area is 22.9 what? Centimeter squared. Right? For one little problem, that had a lot of stuff in it, didn't it? And it kind of made you think through things we've been doing. Oh, I know how to get that. Oh, I can get that. But now notice, we kept every answer exact until the end. I didn't round the radius. I didn't round theta. All right? Don't round till the end. All right? We good?